were some of the critical career choices, moments in your career that the decisions you took that uh, turned out to be very important? You know, I, I get asked that a lot. My, my answer is a little different. I think the more defining decisions I made were the, the opportunities I turned down, actually, <laughs> and decided not to do uh, for, I thought, really good reasons. And, tried to understand the thinking of the organization and asking me to do something or, or the lack of thinking. And it came down to usually an individual leader trying to plug a hole in their strategy and not thinking. And they say, well, I don't think that's really what I want to do or where I want to go or apply, apply my effort and I don't see where that's going to lead at the end of the day, so I'm going to turn it down. And I, I did a few of those uh, in a time when you weren't really supposed to do them and that you were supposed to jump when the organization asked you to jump. And the organization has changed enormously since then. We're, we're much broader thinking. But I, I entered in a different era into the organization as we were evolving. But I stuck to my guns to say, I know what I want to do and uh, what I'd like to do, and I, I think I've got a vision. And it didn't hurt me. And I think to the credit of the organization, they, they looked through it and they said, OK, uh, next time, we'll, you know, Hopefully you'll, you'll see it our way, but it, uh, it, it, uh, the organization was flexible. So I think that was part of it, understanding what you don't want to do versus what you want to do. I think it was more, when I had an opportunity in a new role, I always tried to learn my job quickly. But I also wanted to know every job of my peers around the table. So when we sat around a management meeting, I wanted to know everybody's job and how they did their job. And so it was a great learning opportunity. I wanted to learn my boss's job while I was working for him. And how do you do that job? By observation. And always be asking questions and thinking and learning. And I think people would say, you know, when Dave sat around the table, he always looked like he was ready for the next role. Because he was thinking about his peers. And he was thinking about how his boss was trying to do his job. Or her. And uh, so was, I made the most out of every opportunity by constantly trying to learn every role around me and how it all fit together. And I think that accelerated the learnings I got out of every position where if you just focus on this and you're in your own little world, you're missing a huge growth opportunity. So if you can do that a few times in an organization, you just significantly accelerate your learning curve within a franchise. And I would encourage you, as whatever role you're in, to look at the people around that management table with you and think about their job and could you do their job and how they're doing their job. And and what do you understand about their role? Makes you a better partner at the end of the day, for one. Two, accelerates your own development, because you're not going to do every job around the table. You may go to another group or another department, but if you understand every job, and you take that opportunity while you're in that group, you just, you just again, you're trying to exponentially increase your development, your personal development curve, and make the most of every opportunity while you're sitting around a management table with, with a bunch of peers, or when you go to lunch or drinks with them. What are you trying to learn? You're always trying to learn and accelerate your knowledge of an organization and a customer. So that's something I always do. The second thing was you've got to take risk. You can't sit there and say, I'm going to play it safe and hopefully others take risks and fall by the way and I'm going to be the person standing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I consciously look for people in the organization who are doing that and make sure I don't select them and don't reward them because I want people to take chances and take risks. And I, I know they're all risks don't work. But you got it. You got to stick your neck out and, and think bigger and more broadly, and, and uh, knowing that it might not work out, and that's okay. And you got to you got to have the confidence to say, you know, if I do a few of these and don't work out here, maybe I won't have a long career. But I'm going to go somewhere else. I'll take all those learnings and I'll try again. I'll start again. And never be afraid to do that, particularly when you're young. Um, so I always approached every job saying, you know, I'm going to I'm going to take smart risks, not dumb risks. But I take smart risks and I'm going to stretch myself. And I'm not sure it's going to work out. Uh, knowing that if it doesn't and the organization's not happy with me, then part ways and I'll try something else. And the organization will try something else. We'll both be okay. It's not the end of the world. And I encourage you to think that way. And to, to not be afraid to try new things because it, not everything's going to work. But you'll learn so much more from things that don't work and from things that do. And you build resiliency which is so critical in today's world, those things come at you so quickly. And I look for people who will try and fail and pick themselves up and come at it again. 